Are you somebody that struggles with mid-back stiffness? Or maybe you're somebody that has to sit for a living or it feels like your posture is beginning to round forward and you have a lot of stiffness in this area right here. If so, this video is gonna be great for you. Today, what I'm gonna do is show you an exercise that a lot of people use for their low back that can be easily modified to work on those areas just at the, uh, the upper end of your lower back to the, you know, the base of your rib cage right in through here. Uh, this is a common area for my patients that they complain about. It's just, a, you know, it gets really stiff on certain people. And because of the location of it, it can be very hard to get moving on your own. So the goal today is to show you exactly what you can do to work on getting some range of motion through there on your own. So when we talk about that area, it's under a lot of stress because it's a transition area of the spine where your mid back, your thoracic spine is kind of rounded back. So it curves forward. Then you go, or I'm sorry, it curves back. Your low back curves forward. As that transition area happens, a lot of people get really stiff and rigid right there, and it can be a tough area to mobilize. So what we want to do is we want to typically get some extension into that area because that's what most people lack due to our daily activities of rounding, sitting, doing all the forward bending that we always talk about. So if you take the exercise uh, done for the low back, you've seen me do this a million times, but it's the McKenzie press up where your hands are just below your shoulders and you're letting your low back sag towards the floor. So right now, if I'm talking extension and working on range of motion, all that's happening right around my belt line. So I'm getting a lot of extension right there. But if I take my hands and I move them well out in front of my shoulders and I press up and then I re uh, relax, breathe out, I am now getting motion higher up. So it's no longer around my belt line. It's a little higher. The higher up I go, now I'm approaching that area right as the, the upper portion of your lower back hits your rib cage. And if I just kind of sink forward into the table, I'm getting a lot of extension right in here. And that's an area where people, again, lack extension and get really stiff. What you can do is just keep the hands here. You can elevate your hands maybe on books to, to get you a little bit extra motion down. But the further you go out, the higher up that range of motion is going to be in your spine in terms of working towards extension. Now, if you get too far out, it's not going to do anything, but you can play with hand position to not only work your lower back down around your belt line, but then you can start working up into those areas just below your rib cage where people get, tend to get so stiff. Another easy modification that you can do at home, if you have a thick band, those work really well. Or what I'll have patients do is grab uh, an unfitted bed sheet and just roll that bed sheet up or that band. This is too loose, but you're gonna put it right in that area. So you need a thicker band at home. And then you're gonna get into that same position and you're gonna stretch that object forward. And then as you're coming up and you breathe out, you now have a fulcrum that is pulling you further into extension. So it's almost like you've got somebody there giving you some overpressure on those joints where you get very stiff. And so if you feel like you get a good stretch without the band, try the band to get some extra range of motion through there. This exercise can be really effective if you're somebody that sits all day. And like I said, you just feel rounded there and it just feels tight all the time. A lot of times you're uh, lacking extension in that area. You need to get it in there. So what I'll have people do is do a few sets of 10 of those repetitions a day. And over time, as you're introducing that range of motion on a daily basis, it can really help to loosen up that area it feels like you can stand up straighter. Maybe you feel like your posture's improved with this exercise, but it's really beneficial and it's easy to do at home. Again, you can do it with or without the band. The band's gonna give you a little extra oomph into those joints, working that range of motion in the direction that we rarely take them on a daily basis. So I hope this helps and I'll talk to you soon.